Hello, this is uh, Irimel again. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a flying machine. I always build the flying machines out of plastic. I always place down my driver's seat. Then I place down the other seats if there is gonna be any, any other seat. Now I place down my thrusters. But before you do that, you need to choose if uh, are you gonna be able to stand up in a flying machine. Uh, is it gonna be an open flying machine? You're gonna stand in a machine, you need to build uh, uh, six blocks high. Uh, I'm gonna place down my thrusters like this. I'm gonna have uh, two hover thrusters and uh, one for going upward and I built it one block in because now I can just the second thrusters I always uh, place down is forward and backwards thrusters place uh, like this I always uh, turn these uh, forward thrusters up to max uh, as well as the backwards thrusters I do the same thing to all the other sides when you've done that, I think we have all the thrusters needed uh, to have a working fly machine. So now you can uh, go into Steam Workshop, search for FMCSP, and then you should see this. It contains everything you need to make a flying machine. You press subscribe here, and you should have it on your lift. And it fits perfectly between here. Now I weld it here, basically. Now you take your connect connection tool, and you connect the driver's seat to this button. To this button right here. Now you're gonna need to place down an engine. It doesn't have to be level 5. But I recommend it because uh, it, uh, it weighs the least. You connect the driver's seat to that as well. And you put the speed of the level 5 gas in it to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. You connect that to this bearing and you change the rotation. Then you connect the driver's seat to this bearing. And you change that as well. And then you press E to use. You put it to 8 degrees and turn speed to maximum. There is uh, one more thing you need to add. There is uh, sensors. It doesn't matter what level the sensors is in, but I like to place it. I'm gonna place it under the driver's seat. You cannot put sensors under the driver's seat for some reason in this game. I forgot that. Because uh, when you put the sensors under the driving seat, the sensors are gonna randomly turn on when it's tilting or something happens. So don't do that. Instead, put it somewhere that is not under the seat. Maybe here under the door. Then you connect them to this logic gate. And then I usually make uh, some landing gear. Now you're gonna connect uh, these four colored uh, logic gates to forward and the backwards thrusters. This dark blue is uh, forward right. So these thrusters. Then this uh, light blue is left forward. When you connect to that, dark yellow, or it kind of looks like dark green, but it's dark yellow. Dark yellow is always right reverse, so the, these thrusters right here. Light yellow, like the rest, is left reverse, so these thrusters. When you connected all of that, there's just uh, two more things we need to do. This is the hover logic gate, so I'm just gonna connect uh, the, this corner right here, this logic gate to this corner and these two thrusters and then this logic gate, this corner to this then this this corner the final logic gate, this I'm gonna connect to the last corner and now there's just one more step uh, we need to take any we need to add a button. I'm gonna place it right here. Then you connect the driver seat to the button and number two. And then you connect number two to these to these thrusters, the final thrusters. 
and it's the uh, upwards process that you used to go up in the sky and uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna place down all the blocks that you want placed when your fly machine is ready uh, a tip is to leave just so that this uh, hover process is uh, reachable because you're gonna need to adjust them la later and uh, this is something you need to be aware of that uh, you can't place it uh, like this or I think you, you probably can but it's not recommended uh, you put like this alright so I have uh, placed down uh, all the blocks that I want to place when my flying machine is gonna be done and I uh, accept this you don't need to this doesn't need to be visible you can just cover this I usually paint uh, the walls uh, the last as the last thing I do when I'm done but you can paint it now if you want you kinda has to uh, guess your way forward to how much the, the thrusters need to be uh, powered but I'm gonna put one uh, hover thruster to maximum and then the up thruster uh, that you connected to the, but the, to the uh, button I'm gonna put that to max because that just gonna that just gonna make the flying machine go upwards. Oh, and there you go. So now we're gonna see if it hovers. No, it doesn't. It seems like we need to uh, hide the second hover thrust into like I don't know maybe like halfway. That didn't work either. So. I guess we uh, turn up the uh, these thrusters more, maybe almost full. That seems to work. All right, maybe we need to put it all the way up. Yeah, now it's going up, and I usually don't want that because if I lose the flying machine in the air, I do want it to slowly move down so that I don't have to fly up and catch it with another flying machine. You need to make sure that uh, it. I know what, what is happening and now this should work as intended now you have a fully working uh, flying machine all you have to do is make it prettier if you haven't done that already you need to design like maybe uh, finish what I started right here and put them like this oh and uh, this here is a perfect uh, place to hide it and it should oh of course I always do the wrong way Goodbye.